We're broadcasting live from the Thunderdome in Suniapolis, Forsk, Minnesota, home of the Purple Mutant Eaters. You can hear their anthem being played down on the field right now. Of course, written by the artist formerly known as Pimp, Purple Brain, one of the all-time classics. Pain, suffering, humiliation, and possibly a conga line. This game's going to have it all. The Philadelphia Evils go up against the Purple Mutant Eaters. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Hey, man, I was hanging on the now. You know what happened? Hehehehe. Welcome to MFL Sunday School, where the good playbook teaches it's an eye for no reason, a tooth for an eight ball, and a limb for just looking at me the wrong way. MFL game day is on the air. Grim Blitzrow, my partner's Bricks and Bricks Jr. Hey, man, these guys flat out want to kill each other today. Yeah, these are the kind of games families come out to see. It's good for the sport. You know what I like about this home team is 90% of them were born criminally insane. You can't teach that. And it's first and ten. Good thing they don't have drug test. Pow! With the brain scrambler! And that'll be second down and four. And the QB might as well just be boom, dead and down. He delivered the freaky. Oh, you knew you were going to see a lot of carnage today, folks. These teams have bad blood between them. Apparently, they got it from the same blood mobile that usually parks outside next to the taco truck. Raccoon Ravy blood is my thought. Always a player's favorite. And it's first and ten. And the defense was reading him like a book. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. <laughs> and it's first and ten. What is this, Annie's wrestling? Second down, the size of Brick's wiener. Hey! Sorry, partner. I think the defenders are scared of this guy, Bricks, and they have every right to be. Yeah, he's a murderer! And it's first and ten. down with a nice piece of running there. Boom, dead and down. Nothing more to say about this guy except maybe a eulogy. Ah, uh, well, he was a violent alcoholic, a terrible father, and uh, he did some nasty things to dogs. <clears throat> but, uh, I mean, he was a great ball player. Uh, you know, that's really what counts at the end of the day, right? And it's first and ten. And he literally... He picks up a two. <laughs> And that'll be second and eight to go. And he was steering a pick six, but dropped the interception. And that's why he's on defense, schmuck. Third down and eight. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. And the punter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is superb, Grim. The cross-stitching, unbelievable. The punter for today is being played by my kid's sister. They just let that one drop and play it safe, and the defense says, we'll take it. And it's first and ten. Roid rage, because if you 
can't answer your question, but great play by the defense. It's not too often a quarterback gets rejected. That's why that's the position I originally tried out for. I want to know what it's like for other people to accept you. Now that went from a joke to making me feel feelings. Stop it. And he just wrestles away from that tackle. Third down and the punter is warming up. want some payback after that. Well, they couldn't pick up a first down, so now they have to punt. And he put all of his foot into that one. He's got the ball now and is going to try and score. Oh, and that's when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have to meet at the dice, Grim. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. And it's first and ten. And an eight-yard gain on that one. Like when Bricks' mom decided to move back in with us. Second down and two. First down! This guy just loved to hit me. Oh, no, that was totally unnecessary. <laughs> I gotta see that one again. It was also freaking awesome. I hope they have raincoats in the front row because that was splattering everywhere. And it's first and ten. <laughs> and he laterals at the last second. Nifty, but that, my friends, was an all pro NFL hit. <laughs> Second down and five. Third down and nine. And that's how you run the football. First down. And it's first and ten. And there's another pick. Man, this quarterback must have learned a lot about sure. Man, what a hit that was. <laughs> and it's first and ten. First and ten. And the defense gets another pick. Man, rough day. Oh, that's a vicious hit. And the crowd loves it. And if you don't understand why refs are hated even more than kickers, <laughs> well, there's your answer, Bricks. And so at the end of the first quarter, we've got a scoreless game. Just like you love life. And it's first and goal. It's a jailbreak. And the defense jumps offside to kill the ref. Oh, crowd's loving it. It's first and ten. I ate a piece of licorice once and got a shot like that. It wasn't licorice, you idiot. It was the frayed cords of the leaf blower. Well, it was a red cord and it looked like licorice. The point is... Uh, I forgot my point. And it's first and ten. 
up for them and allows the passing game to be more of a threat. Got to keep them guessing. And it's first and ten. And I've had it. I'm running out of excuses for this QB. You just... If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. First and ten. Ah, another interception. Geez, you get the oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yeah, sounds like my off season. <laughs> and it's first and ten. And that'll be second and eight to go. And with another pick, the QB says, I don't almost throw interceptions, but and like a monkey trying to fuck a grip. Ooh, that hit's gonna shave a few days off his life. First and ten. And he's running like a moose right now. Oh, great tackle. When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a convalescent home. Second down and long. Oh, great pass on that play. They caught the defense napping. Third down and three. Oh, man, he really wants it. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. And that's a hell of a cheap shot. <laughs> Gotta love it. First and ten. That would have been a disappointing run. It's even a worse throw. Second down and nine. And they line up for the extra point. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. Oh, he just got crushed. <laughs> And it's first and ten. The defense better watch out. The, oh, man, talk about running into a buzzsaw, Bricks. Okay, he just ran into a buzzsaw. He's at the 20, and they're catching up. Joke, job, do something. First and ten. Does the QB know what 
Watch TV's on. I don't even know where I'm at. One time when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. And it's first and ten. Picks up 10 on that run. Man, he nearly broke that one open, Bricks. Yeah, and I nearly married Trim Big Assian. And I nearly did not crap my pants earlier. Nearly as help I made it win. Man, oh man, he hit that line the way your wife hits the all-you-can-eat buffet of crab apple trees, Bricks. Ah, uh, you're telling me. She ate 47 Salisbury steaks one time. Thought she had food poisoning. Turns out her lower intestines just exploded. Oh, that's a relief, because there's nothing worse than food poisoning. Oh, uh, you're telling me. His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. Somebody get that guy a beer, because he just saved me a thousand bucks. Hey, man, I scared of a sinner. I am a hell of a fellow. Bricks, it's the two-minute warning. You know what that means? Whiskey? And it's first and ten. The offense calls a timeout. This is why you save your timeouts. So you can use them in the two-minute warning. Now I get it. Makes sense, Grim. Second down in a very lot. Oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some... Bit they used their second timeout, but they are running out of time. A uh, bit pessimistic, don't you think so, Grim? It's more about building tension, Bricks. That's all we do at this point, and drink this bourbon. Come on, give me that. Uh. And he just slipped away like... Just follow the bloody footprints to the new line. That's a first down. And they are out of timeout. The clock just became their greatest enemy. Really? The clock? The clock, Grim? I can smash a clock. That's not a great enemy. We're not talking about waking up at the crack of noon. We're talking about the NFL, you moron. Yeah, I've had it. I'm running out of excuses for this QB. Oh, what the brutal hit. because you wore glass. Oh, the defender almost kicked off the ball on that one. Second down and ten. I personally think that the ginormous guy is compensating for something, and he gets three yards on that run. And that'll bring up third down and seven. Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. And he booted a high arcing rainbow. He's got the ball now. Let's see what he does with it. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. The offense changes the pace by going into a hurry-up. Does that mean the defense gets into a hurry? And that's another pick. Man, oh, man, the defense is going to have more receptions than the offense. Oh, devastating hit. You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? Yep. Third grade. Sister Mary Margaret of Our Ladies of Holy Hell. I thought it was Bricks. Knuckles. The second quarter comes to a close as the teams head for the locker room, and we take you to halftime. Brought to you by Monsatan Industries. We make genetically engineered food that is to die for. It's the start of the third quarter, and we are set to go, Bricks. Oh, boy! Where we going, Grim? A carnival? Huh? Uh, we're gonna go to a strip show. Where we going? <laughs> hey, why don't you settle down? Just pet your rabbit, Lenny. Just pet your rabbit.
Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. Intercepted. Second down and ten. Third down and well, good luck. You gotta love a player who goes down fighting. Yeah, you think you can go toe to toe with me? Well, you mistake, man. You get up my grill, I'm gonna ruin your world. I'm gonna wreck it. The offense lost another quarterback on the previous play and have only two left before they have to forfeit. Yeah, but on the bright side, when they save a ton of money by not having to pay those guys anymore. Uh, and the funeral expenses, that is. They are going for it, and the defense is licking their mutant lip. In a fight between Kick Tongue and Godzilla, the player on Roid Rage would win. There's no reason to drop the ball if you're still alive. Oh, with the brain scrambler. Huh, I didn't know that was a penalty. Yeah, these rule changes are ruining the game, Grandma. <laughs> And it's first and ten. Defense says enough of this BS and jumps off sides to lay waste to the referee. Way to go, guys. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. And he pounds the ball into the defense, picking up seven. Second and three. Hot, hot one, hot two. Hot. He could go all the way. Touchdown! Man, he's dancing like a zonked out jam band enthusiast. Oh, that's how he spent his entire offseason. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? Straight through the uprights. Looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. Ooh, that hit's gonna shave a few days off his life. Oh, uh, come on, that was a cheap shot. <laughs> That's why I love this guy. And so are the fans. And it's first and ten. And that's another turnover for the defense. Oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot and that's the way to get the sticks moving. He picks up five on that play. Second down and five. Hot one, hot two, hot, 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 hot. And a hard run there picks up the 
first down. Oh, and the late hit arrives right on time. When it's your time to go, it's your time. And it's first and ten. And he let it off the ball. Man, these guys like playing. Oh, and that's when it feels like to have your teeth removed without knowing. Oh, holy smokes. He just killed that player with a cheap shot. That's why we love the MFL. And the Purple Mutant Eaters decimate the competition today and deliver their home team fans a forfeit. Rod Grimm, some of the defensive Mutant Eater players are snacking on the left of a body part. Why do you think they're called the Purple Mutant Eaters, you idiot? There's not much left of the opposition, and the fans are loving it. There was only one way this game was going to end, and that was in a forfeit. That's not quite true, Grim. The alien spacecraft could have crashed into the stadium and ended the game. Oh, I don't know if How about if you here. shut the hell up right now and we go down to the field and listen to what the MVP has to say? Once again, the folks at Evil SM thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's final game stats are brought to you by the Microheart Corporation. They get it right every...